Foodie Generated YouTube channel. And before starting the video, I'll be requesting you to do two things. Uh, if you like, so if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, then this is going to help me to get motivated to make more such video. And one more thing is you can become a member of my channel. I just started my membership program. Uh, once you visit my channel, you can click on the join button and become members. You will get exclusive videos, exclusive online money making tips and other online and technology related stuff directly to you, uh, exclusive for my members. So now talking about the video, uh, in this video I will be talking about test birds. So this website is uh, all about you, as a, you have to act as a tester. So you get to test websites, you get to test, you get to install the applications, use them, uh, give your feedback, uh, find bugs in an application and for that you get to, you get paid. So I am also going to share you with you my payment proof. So this website is legit and it definitely pays you. So I'll be in my laptop screen, I'll be showing you everything step by step, what the website looks like, what you have to do, how the test start conducted and everything uh, so now let's go to my laptop screen and let's get started hey guys so we are on the website of testbirds.com uh, so this is how the website looks like uh, you can uh, read all the details that you want uh, so if you want to become a tester you need to click on this right hand side uh, right uh, top uh, side you can see uh, now you have to click on this create a tester account because you are a tester uh, so once you click on a tester, you need to complete all the details, become a tester. Uh, so I already created the account, so it is directly logging into my account. But if you want to create an account, you need to type in the basic details, right? And once you complete the basic details, uh, make sure once you log into your account, make sure that you go to the profile section and complete all these details right uh, complete all the basic profile detail and advanced profile details all these details are very important because based on this you are going to get the test right so they will be like seeing that if you match their requirement they are going to send you an email right uh, so this is how you complete your profile advanced and uh, see so now let's go to the dashboard of test birds uh, so so this is how the dashboard uh, of Testbirds looks like uh, on the left hand side you can see all the important details uh, dashboard device test payments bird school community health etc on the right hand side you can see uh, this is the main dashboard here you can see this is the test that is available for me I have currently I have completed this test uh, so you can see the accepted uh, status over here and here you can see the monthly earnings that you have earned so as you can see i earned in 2022 i earned 845 rupees uh, in the uh, bird news section you can uh, drag latest uh, news if they require uh, uh, testers with specific requirement you can check the data over here and in, they also have a companion app on google play store so you can use that to complete find the books and report so yeah they also have an app uh, in the community points, they update all the latest points their people have earned. Uh, the bird of the month is basically they select a few testers who do exceptionally well in their first test or they are doing well. Overall, they are uh, good testers. They are reporting the box very well. So you can test all those over here. And you can see the top 10 birds are also there, right? Depending on the points they have earned, community points from recruiting only so they point the community points basically you earn uh, by doing good work in the community right so test bird is a community you help other test birds people uh, you participate more in test uh, you be honest uh, so you get more community point right so you can see here uh, on the above there are 130 and 25 what are these so the 25 are the community points that i earned and 130 what is that so they are the experience points so suppose i completed a test successfully so i am my experience is increasing right now right so i get uh, experience points so there are two type of points experience points and community points right uh, so i hope i am simplifying it for you uh, so these are the top 10 people uh, who have you know share brought more people on the platform so they have got the community from recruiting only as you can see so they are the advantage of it so 
so this is what i wanted to explain now let's go to the left hand side uh, i will go each and make sure you add your device so this is the thing that you need to do as you can see i added the two devices um, i have two devices one is mobile phone and window so the more device you add the more opportunity you get uh, to uh, test right so the more device you have the more invitation for you uh, reporting the bugs you will get right so as you can see i got 40 experience points uh, so yeah that's the that's the emails i have received and so that's complete the basic overview let me show you the points uh, what are the different points community and experience experience points uh, so you can hear uh, you can see here experience points um, i completed the quiz uh, in the bird school uh, so i got 25 experience points um i completed a basic profile details so i got 10 experience point my report oh, got approved right i got one test i got approved so i got 40 experience point community points basically let me show you uh so community points basically you got i got the community point for completing the initial reports so whenever you get an invitation for a test uh, you will need to complete an initial report uh, so once you complete that you get 20 points uploading the profile picture got me 20 points also, if you refer your friends, um, bring them to the platform, you don't get money uh, here, you get community points. So what is the use of this community points? Uh, you get a special, uh, you, as you can see, collect community point to get access to special projects and full prizes or prizes. So maybe they will award you as per their need, right? So they think that you have received good community points, then they will award you as per their wish. But there is no dollars that you earn by referring friends, right? So now this completes the overview. Now we will see how to complete the test uh, uh, that I completed the test. Uh, so we will see how to complete that. So it will help you uh, when, you, when, when, when you get a real invitation for a test, right? So let's see that. Hey guys, so this is a, going to be a quick overview of how you complete a report or test on test birds, right? So again, there may be different tests, but this, the test that I'm completing, the name of the test is simple validation test for specific Android devices. So in this, all I have to do is download an APK, run some tests and submit some screenshots. So as you can see, I am here uh, uh, about on the live report section. So I have to read everything details like is your device information up to date uh, or I have updated my device uh, during the test so you should never update your test once you are participating um, so make sure your device information is given is accurate so i will click on yes is your device information up to date yes it is up to date now there are some like they will give you step by step instructions to complete the test right so i, I have to just follow them right so first step is what like i have to install the apk file um i have to go to the access data and download the apk file on my computer and obviously now that apk file i need to transfer uh, to my uh, mobile phone and again i have to download that apk file and open it right uh, so where to access data is like let me show you a quick so this is the test list that i'm currently participating in so i'll just click over here and these are all the details that you are seeing they, they might seem overwhelming but they are not so in the access data you can see there is an apk file they have provided all i have to do is click on it it will get downloaded i have to just transfer this apk file into my mobile phone and install it right so it's very simple any individual can do it just you just put this apk file into your mobile transfer it and open it and install in your mobile phone right so that's the first step uh, once you install your app then you will see the screen um, where you have to allow the device um, to access to your storage files so don't worry they are safe and once you do that once you install this MEDL sample um, now you have to run the test right so here you can see the, the application is showing you run MEDL test so you have to click on the MEDL test um, and again this is the screenshot you have to submit before so you can see they are asking me to submit a screenshot i submitted the screenshot of this app a dashboard 
and now the second step is to run the MEDL test. So uh, you have to run the MEDL test and you have to submit the test report. So how do you do that? So you can see the screenshot. I run the test. The test is completed. I took the screenshot of this. Um, as you can see, I not the tests are not failed. It's all the tests their device done is passed. So that's it. So I have to just upload the screenshot of that um, result and upload it. As as you can see. Now the second is like I need to go to the device folder of my Android device uh, into this folder and once i go to this folder i will see certain file like this and i have to read I, I will see a file like this let me show you you have to um, let me see if my device is connected so as you can see i have connected my android device to this uh, computer and I have to go to this part part right i will just type in this to get quicker access and maybe i'll just go to the android data as you can see this is the file that you can see so this file i have to open it and you can see this is the xml file i have to rename it like this what is my device name um, what is the version of the android this is what they are talking about right so this is what they are talking about right i hope you got what i'm saying right uh, let me explain it quick so what i did is download the app apk file from here install it on my mobile phone Took the screenshot of this dashboard upload this screenshot on here also i did all now then i run the uh, medl test uh, this you can see in your mobile phone i run the test i uploaded the result it's completed results i upload the screenshot of here and then i click like do you pass the medl test and i clicked on pass then what they're saying is then you have to upload this xml you need xml report will be stored in your device so this file will be in your android device right so you need to um, go to this storage file on your mobile phone or if you are not able to access this file just use an usb cable and connect your android phone and like i am doing here you can see i gone to android data and i got access to this file and into this file um, i just have to rename it india the manufacturer of my mobile phone the model number android version and I had to just I just copy this um, file into a desktop and um, let me show my desktop and convert this file into a zip file as you can see zip file so this zip file is what you need to upload here you can have to upload this zip file over here. the third is you have to run the LEDL test right so you just run the MEDL test similarly you have to run the run the LEDL test so once you run the test again you have to upload the result you will see on your mobile phone that either you will pass or fail that device will run automatically you have you have to take the screenshot of it um now in this particular screenshot you have to rename your uh, rename that uh, screenshot file to uh, country device number manufacturer and whatever like i did right uh india narzo like you have to rename like this upload this screenshot as you can see i have passed the test zero failed upload the screenshot uh, type in like they are asking like LEDL test result pass or fail right as you can see I passed the things right the device automatically passed there is no fail zero fail uh, so I have just click pass and that's it you have to submit the report so once you're done that's it so this was a simple right there might be different tests so this is just one test that i showed you as a live example to make you more familiar with how you complete the reports uh, so the the, re the report uh, the test or the bug finding thing that you are going to get will be different also the next bug that i will be doing will be different the instructions will be different uh, all the instruction you can finding the test so this is the test line once i click over here there are all the description they give 
um, and you have to complete all those things so yeah that's how you this is the quick overview of how you complete the report so i'll just now click on submit report as you can see i submitted the report successfully that's it